happy Valentine's Day uh, to Racer Nation, everybody. My wife who's at home. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's a great win. Uh, offensively, we did some good things. You know, defensively, uh, you know, we were able to close the game out with some stops. Um, you know, it's an interesting game, you know, uh, a lot of different flows and and uh, ebbs and flows of that game. But uh, some great stat lines for our guys. Jacoby Wood, you know, rebound shy of a triple-double. Nick Ellington, you know, Sean Walker came off the bench and did some great things for us. And then, uh, man, Malik had to go out. I thought that was time for the loose ball, and that was just a huge play for us. Uh, you talked about the ebbs and flows. That was certainly, you know, present in the first quarter. You go up 16 nothing, then before you blink, they're right back in the game. You know, how do you stay focused and stay locked in when – it, like yeah, I mean, it just you just watch college basketball, NBA basketball. It's just it just happens all the time, and uh, you know you just gotta just gotta stay the course and just know, like even going to the locker room. You know, I just I told the the players, hey, write three things on the both ends of the floor we need to do better. Staff met for a little bit, and then went and talked to the guys. You know, I'm not a I'm not a huge big yellow screamer. We just we gotta play better, and um, you know the last eight minutes or so we did. Uh, but we were able, fortunately, we were able to score to to keep them at bay. Uh, but we responded when we got down in the second half, which was great. But some really good stat lines, like I said, um, on the offensive side. And um, it's, a, it's a great win. Any league win's a great win. And, you know, we're in the hunt. I mean, we're in a fight You're trying to get this one of these top four seeds. We're in the fight and see what happens. And um, take a day at a time. We're off tomorrow, and then we got to get ready for – Drake on Sunday got to have two really good days of prep, and hopefully we can play well in Iowa like we did last a uh, couple weeks ago. It seemed like Nick had a lot of post touches tonight. Was that a specific emphasis from you guys? And I guess what can you say about how he played? Well, he was terrific. Um, and uh, I jokingly say this, he may have improved his free throw percentage tonight uh, in league play. But, uh, man, he's terrific. He's been really good. Um, we've been trying to make a point emphasis to get him the ball, and the guys have done a good job with that. Two in a row at home. I feel a little dizzy for you guys right now. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, there's two or three here. You can't get them back. So, you are what you are. Um, so, I, you know, it's frustrating, but uh, but glad to get these two, uh, especially here on Valentine's Day, and so everybody can go home happy with their significant other. But also, uh, in this game tonight, this is one where y'all were able to finally stretch the lead at home. Yeah. At the end of the ball yeah. 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 It was good. We executed and got a couple stops. And you know, if we got the one loose ball rebound where I think Moore hit the three, we we really could have. It could have been eighty sixty eight and kind of finished it out there. But uh, but we'll take it and um, happy for these guys. Nick was saying, you know, obviously you weren't playing your best basketball in February, but you know, this is one of the toughest stretches of the season for you guys going into the tournament. You know, just a month left. What do you got to do to just stay locked in on what you're going? Well, we got to come here Friday and really compete. Uh, Saturday, really compete, and then and put ourselves Sunday in the best position. You know, going down the stretch of Drake, uh, a really good team. Starts obviously Darren's done a great job there. Tucker DeVries, uh, Brody, uh, Enright. I mean, they're really good. Uh, <clears throat> but I like our team, and I like the improvements we've made, and um, and we've played well on the road. So we're excited for the challenge. Kind of feel like everything's starting to fall right into place for you guys. Yeah, day at a time, though. I mean, I like our team. Um, we've made a lot of improvements, you know, in the last month and a half. Um, we just got to continue to grow and continue to get better one game at a time in this league and um, and see where it puts us here in the next couple of weeks. But um, but we're doing some good things, and we just got to get better here in these next two days and really have a good game plan going up to Des Moines. Steve, what does it say for the character of this team that through everything they've been through, the bad losses at home, but some injuries also. You're 87 and tied for fourth in this league. Yeah, and then you look at Abdelgaard, right? We, we we miss you know him. There's a lot of things you can look at, but you are what you are, and that's where we're at right now. And we're in fourth, and you control your own destiny. And so, we just take it a day at a time. Um, but I like this group a lot. I have. Um, that's why I think some of the preseason struggles were frustrating. We gave a couple away, you know, Wilmington, Mississippi State, you have a bad break or two. Um, you know, you blow a couple, you know, you have a really, really tough non-conference schedule, and then you hit a stretch at home in, 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 the, non, in the league that you just don't, we, we, you know, and we're, now we're here. And so, uh, 
I'm excited to see where we end up. And like I said, you just can't get ahead of yourself. But it's good to win tonight, and so we can really have a good focus and prep for for, for Sunday. I'm excited about that game. <coughs> uh, you mentioned Malik in there. Uh, how important is it having a guy like him, you know, back and forth? He's had his record high the past two games. How important is his position coming back? From the Man, it's huge. I mean, it just us his league is so big and physical. And, and the one thing Malik can do, you saw tonight, he can make free throws and he can finish around the basket and. Um, he can catch and finish down there, and he did some really good things for us late in the game, uh, in that little stretch, man. When he was in there, I thought he was really good for us. Twenty-one minutes for Sean tonight. What seems like he's obviously playing a different role than he did pre-injury. What do you feel like his role is on this team right now? Man, just to compete, you know, to be you know, number one to really defend uh, and be really competitive on the defensive end of the floor, um, and then on the other end. Uh, you know, just be confident, play with confidence, you know, and take care of the ball, uh, execute on the offensive end. And I was really happy for him tonight making that three in the corner put us up six. He, he deserved that. You think Brian will be healthy by Sunday? I have no idea. Y'all are going to be the underdog on Sunday, no question about it. Yep. Do you like that role, you think? No, I love it. I love it. But, I, you know, we got great respect. I know Darren well. He's, he's a good friend of mine. And uh, we have known him for a long time, just being up there in that state for a long time. And so recruited his son when I was at Iowa State. And I'm excited. This should be fun. You want to play in these games. You, know, I want, to, you want to play in these big games late in the year. And so uh, they mean something. And so uh, we have a good couple of days of preparation and go in there really focused and confident.